Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul. Alright, so we're trying out something different this time around. We're basically going to be doing a playthrough of this entire game with a bit of a twist. So let's go ahead and get started on a fresh game. And the first thing we need to do is pick out our starter deck. Now the only thing that I don't want to pick is I think there's some kind of Exodia starter deck. That's the only one that I don't want to get because it's probably the worst by far. So... I think let's go ahead, I think black is a safe choice. So let's go ahead and look at our deck list here, see what we're working with. We've got a seven colored fish, Anthrosaurus, Aqua Medor, Armail, Bean Soldier, absolutely legendary. Bell of Destruction, pretty good card, Black Pendant, Change of Heart, Crawling Dragon, Dorover, Feral Imp, Fiend Kraken, Firegrass, Goki Bore, Halogra, Hello, Killer Needle, King of Yami Makai, one of my favorite level 5 classic monsters, Komori Dragon, Larvis, Magic Jammer, Minomushi Warrior, Monster Reborn, Mystical Elf, Mystical Space Typhoon, we've got two copies of MST, which is great for the later games, Neo the Magic Swordsman, One-Eyed Shield Dragon, Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, Regeki, so we've got some pretty powerful staple spell cards as well, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Snake Yashi, Summon Skull, that will probably be our boss monster, Swords of Revealing Light, The Wandering Doom, Trap Hole, Wicked Mirror, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress Number 1, and Witch of the Black Forest. So I think overall we've got a pretty well-balanced deck, probably one of the better starter decks in this. So we're going to go ahead and start our new campaign. Keep that deck list in mind for the twist that we'll bring up as we get through this first duel. So let's go ahead and start out with Tristan Taylor. I think he's one of the easier players in this first round of duelists for the first campaign. And we're going to be going first for our very first duel of the series. How fitting. So let's see what we're working with in this opening hand here. We have a Dorover, Mystical Space Typhoon, Seven Colored Fish, not a bad start, Trap Hole, Komori Dragon, and Change of Heart. So not a bad start, actually. I think what we're going to do... We'll be a little bit conservative, we'll go ahead and set that trap hole and play the Komori Dragon and we will go ahead and pass to my man's T. Taylor. And let's see, I think Tristan has quite a few uh, light point gaining spell cards which can be quite annoying if you don't open, if you don't open anything that's super powerful and can get uh, start pushing in for damage. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the only back row that he has is 7 Tools of the Bandit. Which, you know, isn't the worst thing to have to deal with, but especially, yep, so that is what we knocked out, which is good. But obviously, if we find ourselves in a need to use that trap hole, that would have been a, a bit of a pain to have to deal with. So I think we can start going a little offensive now with a seven colored fish. I do think that he has quite a few wall monsters, possibly an aqua Medor, so we'll want to kind of go in for our larger attack bodies just to mitigate some of the damage that we'll take from those wall monsters, but we were able to clear over, so not too shabby for a turn two from us. Let's see what Tristan can pull out with his next move. Not a whole lot. And that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the pattern that a lot of these first round duelists will have, is they don't have too many combos that they can actually put out, but I know for a fact that we can start baiting out, uh, we can bait out the AI basically by setting monsters and they will attack with just about everything. I think that it's anything over 500 attack points they will just attack blindly into your set monsters which is good. And then obviously if he summons something with over a thousand attack we have the trap hole to just go ahead and get rid of it. But I don't think that we'll we won't do anything with that right now. We'll go ahead and let him take that 800 damage from like I said blindly attacking into the mystical elf. So obviously always good to have some wall monsters in your deck as well, especially in these first few rounds. Pot of Greed, we'll go ahead and activate that because we have some pretty weak monsters in our hands, so I'd rather get something a little bit higher statted. Eh, still not fantastic. We're actually going to go ahead with the Witch of the Black Forest in attack position. And actually, we might be able to close out the game right here. Let's see, I think I've got that added up correctly. Let's see if we can close it out right here. Pretty quick first game. So Komori Dra yeah, I think we do because we've got Komori Dragon and the seven colored fish, so yeah. And then, you know, we'll do the cheeky move. We'll destroy him with his own Dark Assailant. How about that? 
And that is our first W, boys. So we did pretty all right for that first round. I mean, not that too much can be expected, just because the, they're all super low-tier decks. Uh, you know, third-rate duelists with fourth-rate deck-type beats. Now, here is where the twist comes in. So, right now, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Red Eyes Black Dragon pack. So, out of this pack, we've got Spike Seedra, Sandstone, Skull Stalker, Fire Yaru, and the Witty Phantom. Now, with these five cards, these are your first five cards for you guys, and you guys will be choosing what cards that I will add to the deck and what cards I will be taking out. So, before we end the video, we'll go through everything as a whole so you guys have the full pool of what you can choose from and you can add whatever you want to the deck and you can take out whatever you want so you know if you really want to screw me please be nice to me we can add in this skull stalker you know this low level low attack point monster and you can take out like the summon skull or something please be nice to me <laughs> i'm in danger but you know we can also see just how far we can actually get through the game with just really ter really terrible additions to the deck because obviously as we get through each uh each tier of duelist through each campaign it'll uh it'll become increasingly harder if we're adding really bad cards so we'll go ahead and get the the second duel against tristan here i think you have to beat each duelist in this first tier two times to advance to the next tier where it's all of the uh the battle city antagonists so we'll kind of just go through an order and i what I'd like to do for the series is kind of keep it to a minimal 10 to 15 minutes because I'm not a huge fan of gameplay videos, so I'd like to keep it to a minimum and, you know, not, not take up too much of your time. Just a little bit, you know, maybe watch this on a lunch break on, or listen to this on your way home. But, so let's see. Uh, not a fantastic start, but we'll go ahead, I guess, wall up with Fiend Kraken. And then I, I think that we don't have to worry too much about overcommitting to back row, at least in this first tier, because nobody has... Uh, maybe Joey has a Mystical Space Typhoon, maybe Yugi, but at that point it's not the worst thing, but I know that going into the next tier, everybody has at least one copy of Heavy Storm and Harpy's Feather Duster, so that'll be something that we want to look out for and uh, really try not to overcommit to back row. But, you know, you guys can also just throw in a bunch of trap cards once we start pulling them. But, let's see. So, took a little bit of damage from that. I know we can get over his Moon Envoy right now with what we have. And, let's see. Monster Reborn, a Komori Dragon, Minamushi. Uh, I think we'll still reserve it a little bit. But we will just go full offensive just with these smaller attack position monsters. Because I know that we can at least get over what he has at the current uh at the current game state and then we can punch in for 1500 1500 which is pretty good and so for those of you that don't know this was one of the few games that i played as a we taught was this eternal duel of soul game boy game because uh i didn't really have any i didn't have any, any other games actually it was uh it was just this and i think there was one other Yu-Gi-Oh game uh dungeon dice monsters was the other game that I had uh, growing up. So that was uh, that was always what I did after school, you know, after coming back from a hard day's work, I suppose. And there's nothing really great that we can grab with that Monster Reborn, so I think we will just uh, start punching in again. And so based on the time right now, we've got we're just over nine minutes. So, oh no, yeah, okay. So I forgot about that one. I forgot that... And it's such an odd card. It's so out of left field to have that weird flip effect monster in Tristan's deck, but uh, that's what we get for overcommitting, so I was wrong about that. So we'll keep that in mind for, well, actually we've only done, or we've now done the two duels against Tristan. I've got no worries that we'll win this one. So we don't, we don't have to worry about it as much going forward, because I don't think anybody else actually has it. But let's see, can we close out the game here? Potentially, I think if we grab that Moon Envoy, and as long as he doesn't have a wall sitting there right now, but we could also get over it if we do the Black Pendant on the Seven Colored Fish. So let's go ahead and try that. Big Brain Maneuvers right here, ladies and gentlemen, and you are here to witness it. So that's going to put our Black, uh, Black Pendant Seven Colored Fish to 2300 attack. 
and we'll easily be able to get over, nope, not that one. We should be able to go to get over this wall, no problem. Hey, good call, good call. All right, we can close it out right here. Just over 4,400 damage, and that is a perfect game. W number two, boys and girls, okay? And then we'll get our second pack, and then we'll, we'll probably wrap up the episode after that. Uh, just like I said, I don't want these to be super long. I'm not a huge fan of gameplay videos. I can't sit through super long ones myself. So that's just personally what I would want to do with it. And so let's see. And I think we'll stick with the Red Eyes Black Dragon pack. I want to say that that has the better cards out of this, uh, these first few packs that we can pick from until we get to the latter tiers. So let's see. We've got a Witty Phantom. Binding Chain, Tripwire Beast, Drooling Lizard, Giant Soldier of Stone is actually really, really good as a wall monster, and then, you know, it has a little bit more attack points than anything else that you can grab uh, as far as wall monsters go. So, that wasn't too bad. But, so, before we wrap up the video, we will go through everything, so let's run through the deck list one more time. So, we've got seven colored fish, and these are the cards that you guys can take out. So, seven colored fish... Anthrosaurus, Aquamadora, I completely forgot we had that card for some reason. We've got Armail, Bean Soldier, Veil of Destruction, Black Pendant, came in clutch that last game, Change of Heart, Crawling Dragon, Dorover, Feral Imp, Fiend Kraken, Firegrass, Gokibore, Halogra, Hello, Killer Needle, King of Yami Makai, Komori Dragon, Larvis, Magic Jammer, Minamushi Warrior, Monster Reborn, Mystical Elf, two copies of MST. We've got Neo the Magic Swordsman, probably one of our better beaters here, other than the Seven Colored Fish. One-Eyed Shield Dragon, Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, Regeki, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Snake Yashi, Summon Skull, Swords of Revealing Light, The Wandering Doomed, Trap Hole, Wicked Mirror, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress Number One, and Witch of the Black Forest, our soul effect monster, and it's a pretty darn good one. And then the cards that we have in our trunk, this is what we pulled from the booster packs from winning the duels, and this is what you guys can add to the main deck to take out whatever uh, good cards that you guys don't want me to have throughout the rest of the, the rest of the series. We've got Binding Chain, Drooling Lizard, Fire Yaru, Giant Soldier of Stone, again, a really good card for walling up. Sandstone, not fantastic. Skull Stalker, Spike Seedra, Tripwire Beast. And we've got actually two copies of the Weedy Phantom, which is an overall okay attack monster for this first tier of Duelists. But that's going to wrap up uh, the first episode of this series. I'm not exactly sure what I want to call this yet, so if any of you big brain boys have any solid suggestions in the comments if i see one that i like uh we'll go ahead and call that the series title and that's going to do it if you guys like the video don't forget to drop a big thumbs up it's greatly appreciated as always guys and until next time this has been purple pineapple tv brand new series on deck baby signing off